today we're at the Royal Norfolk Showground and it's our fifth pork stock. Uh, it's a free food festival in the day and a knees up in the evening. We've got lots of kids activities, we've got music, we've got cookery demonstrations, we've got lots of lovely hot food for everybody to enjoy. Of course, all our local food producers and as well we've got lots of lovely drink that everybody's been getting well stuck into. I think we've been hooked up with Porkstock, I think it's about our third year. It's great fun, as uh, if, if you're here you'll know there's uh, five or six chefs on. Uh, I think they're all using pork, not unsurprisingly, uh, and they're some of our best chefs in the region. Porkstock is a great, it's like, it's almost like the Norfolk show and then you've got Porkstock to kind of get us through the little, like the, the winter season. I think it's great, it's full of local producers, it's full of local produce and just the passion that's coming from the building when you're in here is really exciting. So I'm just desperate to go for a walk around, get some beer, look at some produce and then just start enjoying myself. Yeah, massively important this event, one of the highlights of the calendar. First time I've done a demonstration here, I've been here as a visitor, but uh, Porkstock obviously promotes everything to do with pork, but more importantly, everything to do with Norfolk. What a stupendous event we've got here. There's nowhere else like Norfolk for this style of thing. So I've just done a demo on stage uh, with, with Ian from, uh, uh, from the last wine bar, my restaurant's Farmyard. Uh, on St Benedict Street. It was really, really fun, really good. It's great to get chefs, producers, punters all in the same room and supporting, you know, supporting a great charity like Nelson's Journey. Really, really good too, yeah. So our nominated charity is Nelson's Journey and as well as the money that we raise for them today, it's shown people what a wonderful charity it is and how they really help bereaved children in Norfolk. So I got into Nelson's Journey when my sister passed away in 2013. Um, she was called Sonia and she passed away of cystic fibrosis. I had one-to-one -one sessions and we did like some group activities with a couple of other people. I found that really good because I got to meet other people who were like me and lost someone. It feels like quite family-like, so it's like I got another family from NJ. So today we're raising money, we've got um, quite a lot of games going on and all sorts of competitions and all the money goes to us to help us do what we uh, need to do for bereaved children around Norfolk. So Adams loves to support everything local. We do a lot of local produces, so a lot of our products, our rye, our wheat that we use in our beers is grown locally around Suffolk and Norfolk. We promote as many local businesses as we can. Porkstock is a really important event. It's raising money for Nelson's Journey. So not only is Adams sponsoring today's event, we actually have a penny system in our shops so you can round up your payments and that money goes towards the charity and for the next three months that is also Nilsson's journey. In late 2014 my mum passed away from a car accident and then my nan got in touch with Nilsson's journey obviously and they helped me with my anxiety and stuff like I was able to talk to people and all that just to know that there's similar people here who have been through the same thing you can really open up to people and let people know about your story you, you never get over it but you know that people are here for you you know for me I think Nelson's journey is one of the best kind of local charities that we have in this county and and, and I have children and if I can do anything to kind of help support that um, I, you know why wouldn't you want to do that um, and it's very close to my heart so if I feel I can do any small part of that to help um, I'm in count me in we are a farming and food manufacturing company multi-million pound organization with sites all across the UK we farm and breed pigs all across Norfolk and then we process them at our state-of-the-art facility in Watton and we supply all the major supermarkets with the best quality pork. We are, as I say, a multi-million pound organisation and what comes with that is a responsibility to give back to the local community that we're based in. And so being part of this great charity supports that need. At Hatchbrenner, we're a local firm, so community is really, really important. So we're here today with Cruise Bereavement Care, which is an adult bereavement charity who work closely with Nelson's Journey. And through the work that we do, we help people through difficult times in their life if they've lost a loved one. So it's really important to be here with our partners today and raise awareness that there is support for people out there. As well as it being a fantastic day out and tasting some wonderful foods and having a good old knees up, 
Of course, we're raising money for charity, which is a great thing to do. Last year, Pork Stock was our first year at the Royal Norfolk Showground, and we raised over £10,000 for Nelson's Journey from a one-day event, which is a fantastic, fantastic success. Pork Stock 2018 looks like it's been the most successful yet, and we're really looking forward to 2019 already. We will have some wonderful new things and surprises for everybody to get involved. Come and have some fun. Come and get involved. It's, it's a fantastic day out and a fantastic night out as well.